You know, when you talk about the all-around uh, hockey athlete who ends up being a great teammate, uh, great results, and becomes a, a, a volunteer and leader in his life outside of hockey. And this guy has uh, gone above and beyond with his personal skill, not only to benefit the players he played with, but also the greater community he became a part of. So today we're going to be talking about the many lives and the highly respected uh, left winger where all of New Brunswick has claimed they're, mar they're not married, but they're related to him. You can pretty well figure it out. If it's not a point, it's a hickey. We're going to talk about the, the, the legend of Pat Hickey. Now, Patrick Joseph Hickey, born May 15, 1953, in the great community of Brantford, Ontario, a beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, city. Go visit uh, Brantford. Got a beautiful, beautiful bunch of people out there. He played 10 seasons in the NHL for the Rangers, but also uh, had time in the WHA. Now, born in Brantford, obviously, he was eventually drafted at 30 overall in the 1973 NHL entry draft and 18 overall by the Toronto Toros in that year's uh, WHA draft. He came to major prominence because of three really strong seasons in the OHA for the Hamilton Red Wings. His best was his final, where he had 79 points in 61 games. Now, in a kind of a bizarre twist, he decided to start with the Toros rather than go with the Rangers. The Rangers at the time were rebuilding. I think uh, there were, uh, that was like I said, right after Esposito showed up, in the big trade, and uh, he put up some good seasons in Toronto. Rookie campaign with Toronto, 55 points in 78 games, including 26 assists, and he had 6 points in 12 playoff contests. In 75, 35 goals with the Toros. Now, we decided to make the jump back to the uh, the Rangers system in the 75-76 the campaign, and uh eventually uh, was the line mate of Anders Hedberg and Alf Nielsen, who also made the jump from the Jets back to the uh, the NHL. The Rangers acquired their rights. And uh, uh, his speed and scoring ability were well-known. A very fluid player, kind of comparable to uh, a Jacques Lemire, Steve Schutt hybrid. Wasn't afraid uh, for the rough stuff every once in a while, but uh, was there to uh, basically... Headband to puck and set up uh, points. In his uh, multiple seasons with the Rangers, put up really impressive numbers. His best campaign was 78, where he had 73 points, including 40 goals in 80 games. And 79, he helped uh, the Rangers get all the way to the Stanley Cup final. Uh, didn't score much in the playoffs, but had 7 assists for 8, eight points in 18 contests. Now, for some reason, in 1980, the Rangers uh, decided to get rid of him. He was sent to Colorado for a short while and returned home to Toronto for the Maple Leafs at the end of the season. And he played, uh, like I said, those three teams, 31 goals, 56 assists, and finally got back to the playoffs with Toronto uh, for three contests. Now, 81, uh, 33 points in 72 games, but he found himself back with the Maple uh, the Rangers despite the fact that he had... Uh, uh, been playing on the Durago uh, Vive line for a short while. So, uh, two of the biggest lines of the 1970s and 80s he played on. But I really don't know why uh, Toronto got rid of him a second time. I don't know if he was having trouble with management. Now, 82 was a weird campaign for him, just like 1980. He, he played 53 games with the Rangers and eventually scored 15 goals, but then found his way to the Nordiques where he helped uh, the Nords knock off Montreal in the playoffs, get as long as the semifinals. So, which was kind of bizarre, ladies and gentlemen, he was in the Frozen Four twice and within four seasons. Quite impressive. Now, 83 was a weird year for him as well, as he ended up at the Salt Lake Golden Eagles of the CHL for a while, and uh, when St. Louis uh, got his rights. Now, his last two final seasons uh, were with St. Louis, where he uh, was averaging 10 goals a game and 20 points. The final NHL totals, 404 uh, points in 644 games, 192 goals, uh, 16 points in 15, 55 playoff games, WHA, 61 goals in 152 games, and 7 points in 17 playoff contests. Now, after Hickey retired, his second life in hockey began. He started uh, uh, his financial service career as an account executive at Wall Street, 
with the New York City investment banking firm of Drexel Burnham Lambert upon retirement. Now, 85 was appointed GM of the ALA Kings American Hockey League Development Program in New Haven, Connecticut, and was subsequently awarded the Executive of the Year Honors in 92. The award was based on his management of an independent franchise and initiation and completion of the AHL expansion plan. For six years, Hickey was also active on the ownership level, as well as serving the AHL on finance, marketing, and was an NHL and uh, liaison and development committee as a league governor. Now, he's also been extensively inv uh, involved in developing youth outreach programs, uh, including the great ice hockey uh, in Harlem uh, program in New York City that benefits academics and sport for inner city youth. Now, he's developed numerous strategic alliances between the corporate community and charitable foundations as a chair for numerous fundraising events. He played a critical role in developing the New York, New York Rangers Seeing Kids Initiative, Trime and Excel uh, uh, Foundation, which is the Skate Foundation, now Garden of Dreams Foundation, the Bramford Foundation, Ice Hockey, and Harlem Foundation, uh, relationships with the financial service community. Now, he's also served the board of directors of the Ice Theater of New York International, Hillfield uh, Strat Stratalon College, and is a board member of the New York Rangers Alumni Association and a liaison to the NHL Alumni Board of Directors. Now, Hickey has spent time as an investment advisor and registered institutional representative with RBC Dominion Securities and has been based in Hamilton, Ontario for, for quite some time. Hickey has also been a member of the Executive Council and designated Miracle Maker annually with the Children's Charity since 1997. Now, in the 2009 book, 100 Rangers Great, which we've been uh, referring to quite often, he's ranked number 78 on the all-time list of the 901 New York Rangers that had played during the team's first 82 seasons. Now, Hickey also had some time with uh, Team Canada, and... Uh, you look at the overall uh, program uh, with the Rangers system. The 79 uh, Stanley Cup final was kind of, uh, not say unforeseen, but uh, the maybe peaked too early. But I have always found uh, Pat Hickey to be a person, you knew what you were getting. But you know that those Toros teams in the early, uh, uh, the mid-1970s, they had a lot of talent there. And uh, if they ever played in the NHL, I think we would give the Maple Leafs a hard go of it because... Him, Henderson, Nenemansky, Mahovlich got some really uh, good pl good players. And, uh, you know, John Bassett was a great mind for hockey. And bringing Pat Hickey in, he wasn't scared to open the, uh, the vault to bring in all these players. And for me, uh, Pat Hickey will rank as probably one of the most underrated skaters of all time in NHL history. Because people talk about him, but they don't really remember, you know, his great success on the offensive side. He wasn't known for defense, but he never really mistake, made a mistake. Uh, but kind of weird how Toronto got rid of him where, you know, they were hoping to, uh, to, uh, to get him for quite some time. So thanks for listening. Have a great day. Give me a like, comment, or subscribe. We appreciate you dropping by. And uh, by supporting us, you're supporting uh, the history of hockey to uh, the development of, a, of an archive where fans can come in and uh, see information on one of their favorite players. We're striving to try to do a little bit more WHA in recent days because of obvious reasons. With the big anniversary coming up of the uh, establishment of the league, it's going to be uh, the 15th anniversary of them and uh, Summon Series, so you're going to see uh, uh, a lot more references to Summon Series players and the WHA in uh, upcoming podcasts. Thanks for listening. Bye.